X-ray imaging is used for coronary interventional procedures. We consider this a necessary evil in a way because X-rays, although they provide good images, also can be damaging to both to the patient and to the performing physicians and staff. Here at Mayo Clinic, we have examined the results and determinants of X-ray skin dose on over 1,900 patients that underwent coronary interventional procedures recently. We did this in, a, in an attempt to find what the most important factors were so that hopefully we can begin to reduce the amount of radiation dose that our patients are experiencing during coronary interventional procedures. What we found is that there are four or five very important factors. Number one, male sex was associated with a higher skin dose, presumably because males on average tend to be larger than females. Secondly, we found that BMI, a body mass index, is very strongly correlated with radiation skin dose. Again, the larger the patient, the more x-rays it takes to generate clinically useful images. Third, we found that the more complicated the blockages are that we're working on and the more work that we need to do, the higher the radiation dose, and that just stands to reason. Finally, we found that in our laboratory there was a range and exposure by operator. We have over a dozen operators, all of whom do different types of procedures, and what we're learning is that perhaps there are differences in operator technique and procedure type that also play into x-ray dose. The next step of this very important project, we're going to be putting into place measures designed specifically to reduce the radiation dose exposure our patients are experiencing. And these will include the use of copper filters, lower frame rates, and reducing the amount of x-ray that the image that the x-ray tube is actually generating. We hope that these will result in safer procedures for our patients and for our physicians and staff.